What's up Martians? Today's vlog day. Vlog number four in recording this album. Super excited today just to be able to film this for you guys and be able to meet the other guys uh, in the band. We're gonna try and build on some ideas we have from before. Yeah, you have all these kind of like puzzle pieces that we try to put together into a song. Maybe we have like an old riff, maybe you have a bass thing or Daniel wrote like a vocal thing and we're trying to just piece it all together like I told you before. And this process is can take forever like uh, just like you have an idea and, and you want to just build on it right away but you, you always pick certain days in the week that we can be able to come together and write and on, uh, like try and put together the pieces that we have been doing apart so yeah we have like a, our Google Drive is crazy it's a lot of stuff on there so we try when we put all these things together we try and put them in like a phase two map basically means like we we have just figured out how long, like all the parts of the song, but we haven't figured out the whole thing that's gonna glue it together. I don't know if that makes sense, but whatever. That's what we're doing today. I'm super excited for it. I'll jump on the bike and I'll see you in the rehearsal space. Did you guys see those bike shots? Super nice. I love my bike. If you hadn't noticed, so I just had to stop and take some photos, take some shots. Try and film with this camera because this is new to me. Like all these vlogs have been done with a GoPro. So we're stepping it up now. Get some better quality. I don't even know what it looks like. Is it too bright? Lights flickering right here. Yep, I'm just gonna play some drums and the guys will show up in a bit, I guess. an honest day's work for a change and uh, had some good news some good news tell us about the good news <laughs> actually the news aren't that good <laughs> now you hyped it up well, the good news is uh, I'm in a good mood uh, nice and uh, a lot better than the last few days and also you did apply for a school I did back to school perhaps finishing back to high school, school? <laughs> Uh, no, uh, I've, I've applied for an education and perhaps I'll change a career, the one besides our lucrative music business. Yeah, and leaving the band in the process, basically. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I, I chose this camera because it's much easier to do vlogs with. <laughs> <laughs> my arms, my arms. Tell us what your, first of all, what, what's your bass and what your, why are you, why have you chosen this bass? Okay, this, this is a Duesenberg Triton bass, uh, a, lo a long, uh, long scale German made bass that I've had for a few years. Uh, I've played the Duesenberg for many years mm -hmm. and, and this one is uh, just, it's, it's the best bass I've had mm -hmm. ever. Uh, it basically plays itself so I don't have to work too much. So, and it sounds great and it looks good. Very nice. So the Dan, the, the D doesn't stand for Daniel, it's for it could. Duesenberg. All right. It could be, but it's the, the Duesenberg logo. That's what I thought at first. It was like a, you had to put your own initial on it. Yeah. All right. So what's this? Yeah. So this is a Novation Bass Station 2, uh, basically a monophonic bass synth, uh, which I'm using uh, not too much currently. Uh, there's a few ambient things from the last record that we're used to, that we uh, used the synth for, and we're also using it now for a few new songs with a more of a Moog Taurus uh, style sound. Sweet. I don't know if, if there's something sounding right now. Nope. No, it isn't. No, nope. because nothing is on. Uh, if stuff were on, it could sound. 
And just to be clear then, like you're playing, he's playing the bass and the synth and the footboard all at the same time and singing. Sweet. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and that will be pretty cool, I think, for uh, some new songs and uh, for the live show as well. Yeah. So. Uh, and this will be in the. Like this will be in the upcoming album. We're gonna probably. Yeah. So. Because uh, we didn't have this uh, in the last album, right? No, it was another uh, another uh, analog synth we had for for the album. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I think we're gonna try. Yeah. Not a great keyboard player, so uh, I don't use I don't use it too much for difficult stuff. Is that what the stickers for? Yeah. Well, <laughs> the thing is that. First of all, I'm not a great keyboard player, so I don't know where the notes are usually. But since we tune down our regular instruments as well, True. Yeah. I needed to transpose the keyboard to make it fit better with uh, our string instruments. So this one is transposed, which, which makes it even more weird. Yeah. And also the foot pedals, they are also transposed, but more. <laughs> Uh, so the SD card ran out. <laughs> All right. So yeah, the we have transposed everything basically. So that's why the stickers. Yeah. So uh, I I wouldn't know where the notes are uh, in any case. Uh, but since we have transposed it, it, it makes it even harder. Uh, and since the keyboard uh, pedals, the bass pedals are transposed more, uh, just to make it more useful for for my feet when we're. To, to match our riffs better, so I don't have to jump around all over. Yeah. Uh, I've transposed this one even more, uh, which means there is basically no connection between this keyboard and this keyboard. Uh, so I just need the stickers to not go insane uh, when we play live. Nice. So uh, yeah. All right. Pedal board. Yeah. Show us. Okay. So I I have, I have had every pedal ever uh, for bass and. Uh, tried a thousand things and uh, I'm not ju just never satisfied so uh, now I've just stripped it down to a very few to, to a few pedals that I really like that sound good and uh, I've, I've just decided that I'm not gonna buy more pedals all right true I'm not gonna buy more pedals I don't believe uh, it if I if I buy another it will probably be that I'm exchanging one for another. So it's basically, I'm running two amps. So I have a tuner, and I gotta have that. And the EBS Multicomp, the compressor pedal. Uh, those two are uh, first in the signal chain. Mm -hmm. And then I, had, then I have one signal coming to one of my amps, which is this one, I think. Uh, this is a Fender Rumble com combo, uh, 350 watts uh, alone, and a 210 speaker configuration. Sweet. Uh, and this one always uh, plays my my clean sound with just the compressor on and nothing else. Um, and from this one, I run a signal back into the pedal board. Uh, and then I have the EBS Octabase, the octave pedal that I use sometimes for cool stuff. It's this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is a real classic from the 90s. Still working, built like a tank. Sweet. Uh, and then I have a, a, um, a, a loop, loop selector, so I, I can choose between an overdriven, distorted sound. Uh, and then I use my EBS metal drive to add some nice distortion. Or I, can, or I can run a more, a more clean signal without the overdrive and perhaps sometimes add the EBS Unicorus yeah. for uh, soft parts, more atmospheric parts. 
And in any case, uh, this second signal runs to my second amp, which is another Fender Rumble combo, which is connected to the lower speaker cab as well. Yeah. Uh, which basically makes this a set six by ten setup. You did some magic in the back as well, right? You like? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm using I'm using the effect loop out from the first amp to go to the pedal board. Mm -hmm. uh, just, a, just a splitting solution that uh, has turned out very well. Nice. So uh, I can have the whole, the whole thing sound pretty clean or I have a clean centerpiece in my sound and then a distorted or effect drenched uh, bigger sound as well. So yeah. uh, this is pretty neat. It's easy to carry, and it's since it's the units are small, they're easy to haul around in a small touring setup. Makes the room vibrate as well. Yeah. So uh, it's been working out pretty good for on tour as well. Sweet. Now we're just waiting for Christopher. Wonder when he's gonna show up. Late as usual. Det är en sån jag pratar om, sån blåtans tjusa. Dommer. En dommer, det är jag tänker. Direkt in i ögonglogen bara. Ja! Just det, den ska inte lysa något, den här lilla farvullen där då. Jag vet inte. How was your week though? It's good. Då är frågan på, går den på? This is the best thing, just sticking a camera in somebody's face. Yeah. Right when they show up. Oh, what's your name? Who's you? It's not like we speak English every day. Just yeah. here, just for you guys. Just for making music. Just because our language is not... It should be the universal language of the entire world. Should be. we are dominant. But it, it isn't. <laughs> no, it's not. Nobody understands our language, but it's it's fine. I actually figured out how to put subtitles in uh, in our movie, so I, I did put subtitles in the vlog. Does it work? Yes. <laughs> so the production value of these vlog is, vlogs are gonna go up. That's awesome. Look at that. International so, celebrities. Yes. So. Intellectual. In international. So when our English fails, we can always switch to Swedish. But the best thing is the to just speak. Is, we gotta, we gotta have English sub subtitles even when we speak English because people understand <laughs> what we're saying. Yeah, because our English sucks basically, so that's what we're gonna have to do. Oh, yeah, you have to put on the. You must so here. Set up on it. I'm just taking order now from him. So. No, it is there. And then you must do so. That. Ooh, it works. No. They're nice. Har vi en har vi en version av den som ligger med solot inkluderat? Inte på full full längd så säga. Någon sån grej hade jag kunnat köpa. Men lite sån här alla din arabiska nattjordel på. Arabiska natt! <laughs> Arabisk nattjordel på det heter. Jag har aldrig varit med om det. När musikteoretikerna uttrycker det. <laughs> Ja. Så jag spelar ju...
Åh, vad dumt det lät. Tack, tack hej då till vlogg nummer fyra nu. Sen sitter vi och tänker här. Jag ska bara säga hej då. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. <laughs> next time. Ska jag ta det? Ska jag ta det lite mer spontant? Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Nu går den åt ett Nice week. Arms are heavy. Let's bomb it on the sweater. Mom's spaghetti. Men jag tänker så här. Att man ska göra någon gång att man skriver om hela texten så bara... <laughs> Ni har ju gjort Arms <laughs> Arms vomit. <laughs> Moms vomit. <laughs> Ni spaghetti. Nej, <laughs> det är jättedåligt. Ja, det är det. Nu. nu går det över styret. Nu är det sista timmar där.